So how'd you guys get to Brooklyn? I lived in Midtown when I first moved here. No oh, one told wow. me. No real friends. <laughs> Wait, Midtown East or West? Uh, West. By Port Authority, oh. it was chaos. I came from LA. But before LA, I was in Baltimore, where I'm from. Oh, oh, yes. Baltimore. Yes. Baltimore. Okay. I'm an East Coast, yes. Awesome. Born and raised. Nice. And lived in LA for 12 years before I came here. Um, and the Midtown happened. Yeah. <laughs> I was in Midtown during the height of the pandemic, the oh, scariest shit. time. Oh, I was in Midtown, scary. yes. Oh, it was really, really it was so spooky. But we did it, and now I'm like, we can do anything. And now I'm in Dumbo, which oh, is, nice. I say, okay. Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. You know what that stands for, right? Um, <laughs> yes, I do. I wanted to Wait, say, what? yes, down what? on the Manhattan Bridge overpass. Oh, I actually never knew that. Really? And I'm from maybe six minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> Even I knew that. Well, I'm from here. I think. I got here through a reggae party in the <laughs> early days. I'm not gonna say what year, but I'm assuming <laughs> I got here from some really fun party in Brooklyn. So you had no choice but to be in Brooklyn. I had no choice. You, have you lived anywhere else? I've lived in Paris and I've lived in LA for fashion, which is like not a week of work. Somehow it's a three to six month stay there kind of thing. One extension for maybe a year and a half Italy, but I've lived in Brooklyn my whole life. Oh. Everyone's here, grandma, auntie, cousins, everyone. Do you like being close to family? I love being close to family. Wait, where did you come from? You were... So I am originally from right north of Boston. Okay. Then I was living in uh, Houston. I did Teach for America. I was a teacher and principal. And then I actually worked in Harlem. Were you excited to come to New York? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it's so fun. So I played basketball in college, and the only time I ever came to the city was for basketball tournaments. So it was very minimal ex exploration. Yeah. It was just in and out, like one restaurant, whatever. So I trusted my friend who um, we roomed together for my first year, and she was like, I found this place, fourth floor walk up, mm. no wash or dry. You know, the, the work. No natural <laughs> yeah, the, 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 light. The, 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 Zero natural light. Class. And I'm just like... <laughs> and you? Yeah, How I'm did you get the, here? I'm from the Midwest. Okay. I, came, wow. I came searching for the American dream. Okay. Riches. Sure. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why are you so general? Like, where in the Midwest? Oh. Like, why am I so general? I was just allowing frustrations to happen just now because all of my Midwest friends say I'm from the Midwest. Mm. Like, as if these states don't stand alone when there's <laughs> like... Because they don't. Where are you from? Minnesota. 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 Love Minnesota. Well, how'd you get to Brooklyn? I just came here. Is this the first place you lived when you moved to New York? Is this an interview about me or about Yeah. Me? I'm <laughs> so interested. Because you're doing that thing that yeah. Ian said about being general. Yeah. Yeah. We want specificity. We want to know. You were all general. Evading. I, no, no, we not, were I transparent and vulnerable. I, I, she I, said I lived Midtown. in Midtown and it was we all sighed. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm less ambitious than everybody else. I came to the East Village mm -hmm. and I lived in a, a cold water squat. Yeah. And then I moved to Williamsburg. And now we have information. That's intriguing. <laughs> That's yes. amazing. Yes. What are you guys going to do with that information? And now we can do something. Honestly, I'm going to pay yes. you to use cold water squat <laughs> because that's a great it's line. It's okay, I stole it from Jerry Saltz. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's so Genius. funny about this city, though, that I love so much. Is like you live somewhere and you're like, all right, the next apartment, I know I made it if I have an elevator. And then you right, go there and right, you right. have an elevator and you're like, next apartment, I need yeah. a balcony. Yeah, yeah. And then you get, you know, like it's always you're reaching for something else. So, it's like, New York, New York City humbles you. What's the most yeah. important thing in that apartment to you? For me now, yeah. outdoor space. Outdoor space. I have two oh, dogs. Wow. Yeah, I love being outside. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a dog, like too, I understand. Do. Yeah. I have a dog. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Jesus a little Christ. chihuahua. I have mix. two hairless cats. A little chihuahua. Yeah. You have two hairless cats. What are their oh, names? Cute. Uh, Kremlin and Mustafa. Yeah, perfect that's names. <laughs> For two hairless cats. They're very cute. And perfect what's your names. chihuahua mix? Gospel. It's a good time. Gospel. Oh, Chief. Oh, Chief. Chief. Okay. What, what kind? He's a shit boo. Oh, little mix. Very cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we both got little dogs. Yeah. Little babies. Okay, tell me about you. I do not have little babies. I have two pit mixes. Sienna Grace. Yes, okay. she has a middle name. I just oh. randomly came out one day okay. when I yelled at her, and it stuck Worth ever it. since. Um, and then Shiloh. Oh. Have you been hearing about the dog blowback lately? People are mad. Or people have dogs. People in New York City are oh, a little gosh. incensed about the dogs. There's the just dogs, like there's yeah. people that are walking the dogs off leaf. There's people that are leaving off the poo leash, on walking. the ground. And some people have advocated for a dog tax. I hate to bring up politics. Yes. The dogs are fine. 